This interview is brought to you by APB, Broadcast Asia 2017 and Ideal Systems. Like all the regions in the world, the Asian customers all have to learn by experience. So I think at this moment there's a clear indication that people feel more comfortable that the solutions exist today to make the transition to IP. So they now, they now need to start trying to use them in islands within their organization. And the good news is we provide hybrid solutions that allow you to handle SDI and IP in the same environment and help you learn about IP and, take it, and how you're going to take advantage of the IP transition. So I think that our role as suppliers is to continue to establish the bridge between SDI and IP and talk to our customers and share knowledge from other references in the world. To make a successful transition to IP, it's important to learn from others' installation. So that's number one. Number two is you have to build the IT knowledge within your company. Number three is you have to understand change management. As any new technology that you bring into a facility requires people to change the way they used to do things. However, the good news at the same time is that there aren't that many things that change with IT. They actually become simpler. So I think as long as we can share best practices, use cases, reference, and allow customers to talk to each other about their whole experience and continue to do our work on the interoperability with AIMS and SEMTI and the other standard bodies, we'll get to what customers need to do a successful transition to IP. This copyrighted video of the broadcast IP in Terop Lab may not be reproduced or redistributed in any form without the expressed written consent of Editech International Private Limited.